morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Durrance. I hope you all are in safe and well. We miss you all. Um, you know my favorite part of school is writing workshop. I love to write stories, and I love to read stories that, that you guys have written. So today I thought I would bring you a writing workshop lesson. Um, our learning target is I will write and illustrate a narrative piece. Our success criterion will be I can write and draw about my feelings in a journal. Boys and girls, a journal is a book that you keep that you can write in every day or however often you'd like to and you can share your feelings and experiences in it. Now to get started with this project you're going to need to set up a journal at home. So I've got some ideas today on how you can do that. The easiest thing to do is to use a composition book. So if you have one of these at your home, you may use that, ask mom if she can let you use it to um, make a journal. You can also use a tablet like this. Sometimes people have these at their homes. Or if you don't have anything like that, you can take paper and make your own journal. You can take white paper and staple it together and make a journal. I've taken drawing paper here and I've stapled it and made my own little booklet. Anything you have around the house will do that. So I'm going to show you today how to set up your um, journal. So on the front you could write my journal. Now, once inside, you're ready to start writing. So we're going to try to keep this like our writing work paper, worksheet paper at school. So as you know, there's a box where you put your picture, your illustration. So I've drawn a box there. And then there's lines underneath for us to write our sentences on. Now, since this is a book, we don't have to have a title every day to what we're writing. It's a journal, so instead of writing a title, we're going to write the date. If you need someone to help you at home, I'm sure mom or an older brother or sister can help you with that. So today I'm writing 3-25-20 at the top of my page. That stands for March 25th, 2020. All right, now the next part is the fun part we get to actually write a story. So I'm going to think about something I want to write in my journal. You know, since I've been home, you get to do some things that you don't normally get to do because you're out of school and you have more free time. I'm going to think about what have I done that I've really enjoyed doing while I'm at home? Well, one of the things I've enjoyed doing is playing with my pets. I have a little dog and two cats. Since I'm home, I get to play with them more often. So I think I'm gonna write my story today about my pets. I'm gonna to try to use two of my snap words in this story. And you write yours if you could try to use these two also. It is have, let's spell it, H-A-V-E. Let's write those words in the air, H-A-V-E. Have. The other snap word I'm going to try to incorporate in my story is, is that my. That's right, my. Let's write my in the air. M Y. So the first thing I'm going to do, boys and girls, to start my story is I'm going to draw a picture of what I'm doing at home. So I'm going to draw myself and my two cats and my little dog. my picture and now what do I need to do next that's right we need to label so I'm going to label my pictures I'm going to write me M E and then I have my dog how do you spell dog D D D that's right D O G 
Were you using your rubber band to stretch that word? How about the cat? C. What's my vowel? A. T. 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 -t. Okay. So I've got my my picture labeled. Now it's time for me to write my sentences. And remember, I'm going to use the word have and the word my in my story. So I think I'll start off and write, I can play with, that's right, my, now I'm going to go up to my picture and I'm going to take my labels and use them in my sentence. I can play with my dog and it's a snap word, cat. And that my word cat is right here. And I need to make it a plural because it's more than one cat. So what do I add at the end of that? Let's write an S because a cat means more than one. I can play with my dog and cats. So I've used one of my words that I was trying to use today, my. And I want to write one more sentence about it. I have fun with my, then I want to try to spell pet. I have fun with my, let's see if you can help me stretch that word out. P, now I need a vowel, <laughs> like egg. That's right, this E. I need to put at the end of my sentence? I need punctuation, don't I? That's right, I need a period. Now, let's go back and reread. Let's use our magic pen and let's reread what we wrote. I can play with my dog and cats. I have fun with my pets. Don't forget to space between your words, boys and girls. Use your punctuation. And always start your sentences with a, that's right, a capital letter. Good job. I hope you will um, try to start a journal today and try to write in it as much as you can every day. It's really fun to keep. Goodbye, boys and girls. See you soon.